All right, let's look at a simple example of how we can use the formula builder to create our own template from scratch. We're going to start by using the identifier, which is the company's ticker symbol. We then want to get revenue. So let's go into the income statement here, select total revenue. We can select the 2019 fiscal year as of date and currency, which will be the global default. Let's add the formula here and press OK. We can take this and fill it right with control R. And now we have the total revenue in 2019 for IBM and for GE. And you can see in the formula here what is being referenced. So if you want to disaggregate this into a more dynamic formula, you can strip parts of it out. Let's take a look at how to do that. So let's study the syntax here. You can see that it starts by taking the company's ticker symbol, which we've linked up here dynamically, so that's good. But then what we want to do is strip out revenue. Let's copy that. And we can actually replace the label here with IQ total revenue. And then we can delete this and make a reference here, which we can anchor in place using F4 a couple of times. and then fill that across to the right. So now this is looking a bit more dynamic, like our typical Excel formulas we like to build. Let's also strip out the fiscal period. We could put that in the top left corner as an assumption. So we can now delete that from the formula and we can link it here. Let's press F4 once to anchor that in place, fill it right with Control R. Okay, and now all we have left is the current date, as of date, which we can copy and paste here. Let's change that reference in here. Also anchored with F4 and fill right. Let's just quickly format this. There we go. Now we've got a nice dynamic formula. So now if we want to fill it in for EBIT and net income, all we have to do is go into the formula builder. And we just need to figure out the CIQ code for EBIT. And we can see that it's IQ underscore EBIT to cancel. Let's do the same for net income. IQ underscore NI. So we're going to fill these formulas down. First, let's just make sure everything is in place to fill down. We want to make sure that the reference to the ticker, which is cell B2, is properly anchored, so it will always refer to row two. So fill that right with control R. If we've done our anchoring properly, we can fill all that down with control D, and there we go. We get the numbers that we wanted. Let's press F5, go to special. Let's select all constants. We want to format those to be blue to indicate that they are hard-coded assumptions that drive our model. So now we've got in black these dynamic formulas. We can change these if, for example, we want 2018 instead of 2019. We get those numbers just like that. If instead of General Electric we want Goldman Sachs, we simply change it to GS. We get Goldman Sachs numbers there. We would have to do a deeper dive as to why there is an NA for EBIT in 2018 for GS. But let's just change this back now to GE. 
And we may also want to add a company name here. Let's just do this one last item. Let's go to Cap IQ Formula Builder. Search for company name. There we have it. Let's reference to the cell here. Press OK. There we go. It's filled to the right. And I like to have company name here. Let's change it to a formula because if you're simply referencing a ticker and you don't know all the tickers by heart, it could be easy to have a typo in the ticker and you'd never know down here based on the revenue alone. But if it's linking to the company name, of course you would know right away if you have the wrong ticker. So that's how you can start to build a custom template for yourself as a financial analyst using the SMP Capital IQ plugin. Thank you so much for joining us for this course. We've covered Capital IQ use cases for investment banking, equity research, investment management, credit, private equity and venture capital, and for corporations. We've looked at a lot of the functions across Capital IQ, and we've really focused in on screening as one of the most interesting use cases for Capital IQ. We hope you've seen the power of this platform, and we encourage you to get two months of free access to Capital IQ through CFI's Full Immersion Program. If you're not already registered in the Full Immersion Program, you can go to your student dashboard where you can enroll, or you can upgrade from the basic to Full Immersion Program. Once again, thank you so much for joining us for this Capital IQ Fundamentals course.